This video demonstrates how to set up and perform the venipuncture procedure. Equipment required includes the following. A laboratory requisition form, non-sterile gloves, tourniquet, alcohol swabs, a selection of multi-sample and safety needles, winged infusion sets or butterfly needles, needle holders or tube holders, syringes, a needleless blood transfer device or syringe adapter, a selection of blood collection tubes, gauze pads, adhesive tape, a hypoallergenic dressing, a biohazard sharps container, some collection or sample bags, biohazard bags. While these come in various colors, they can be identified by the universal biohazard symbol. Please check your institution and state regulations to confirm which bag is used. Patient's medical record and a pen. Wash your hands. Review the laboratory requisition form. Check the pre-stocked tray or assemble all the necessary equipment for venipuncture. Select the appropriate size syringe. Select and attach the appropriate gauge needle using aseptic technique. Ensure that you leave the needle cover in place. When using the vacuum collection technique, select the appropriate multi-sample needle and attach the shorter end to the needle holder using aseptic technique. If using a butterfly needle, select the correct needle for use with either a syringe or a needle holder, and unwind the tubing carefully before attaching. Call the patient to the treatment room. Introduce yourself and confirm the patient's details by asking them to state their full name and date of birth. Explain the procedure and ask if they have any allergies. If the test requires fasting, confirm this with the patient. Obtain verbal consent and proceed. Ask the patient to sit in a chair to prevent falling if fainting should occur. Extend and support the patient's arm in the downward position. Expose the intended puncture site. Inspect both arms as necessary to ensure that the most appropriate site is selected. Apply and position the tourniquet three to four inches above the patient's elbow. Ask the patient to make a fist to make the veins prominent. Palpate the vein using the index finger and select the best site for needle insertion. If using the dorsum of the hand for butterfly needle insertion, extend the patient's arm in a similar way with the dorsum of the hand uppermost. Place the tourniquet three to four inches above the patient's wrist. Palpate the vein in the same way. When the vein is located, release the tourniquet.